Hello? This is the Black Hood speaking. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. The youth vote. Who are the youths gonna vote? The young'uns. Who are they gonna vote for? Who they gonna vote for? Well, well, well. Let's go ahead and check. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the strategy to appeal to young voters for President Trump? Get a mugshot. Get shot. Okay? That's the strategy. Be a, be a be an uh, American badass and do a record-breaking stream with Aiden Ross. There you go. Boom. Strategy for Kamala Harris? TikTok dances. This is trending. This is trending on TikTok. This is the strategy. This is the campaign. This and twerking. This and twerking. This is, uh, by the way, as we've covered extensively, paid for propaganda. This is, uh, these are influencers, if you can call them that, uh, getting paid to do this. And there are a ton of agencies that are offering uh, for people to sell their souls and for Kamala Harris to then inherit those souls um, and demonically possess them. So this is the strategy, ladies and gentlemen, for the campaign. Is it working? Is it working? Specifically with, you know, the youth vote, right? TikTok's where brain cells go to die. This is the Kamala Harris coconut dance trend. Oh my. Okay. Here's your, this is your coconut dance trend. Morning consult poll shows that uh, young voters, Harris has a nine point lead over Trump. Hmm. This is a particularly liberal poll. Donald Trump was winning the youth vote. Uh, Kamala Harris is in her 60s. It's not exactly a spring chicken as it were, but nonetheless, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, we do see some of the some of the um, pretty shocking data about uh, the way young people, black people, Hispanic people are voting. You can see a uh, pretty historic slope downward for the Democrat Party here, as the economic conditions uh, burn out of control. Same thing with Hispanics. Uh, it trend towards Republicans, and you've been able to see some pretty sharp trends towards Republicans for. Youth vote as well. This is, of course, Kamala Harris's uh, favorability versus unfavorable. Of course, uh, red here is unfavorable, black is favorable. So you have Kamala Harris, the least popular vice president in American history, less popular than Dick Cheney. And Dick Cheney shot people in the face and started a bunch of world wars. So, ladies and gentlemen, what do young people and minorities happen to think about Kamala Harris? Uh, I'll begin by giving you a little taste of how Kamala Harris has reached out to that community by talking about her favorite rapper, Alive. Tupac. Rapper Alive. Tupac. <laughs> He's not alive. You said he lives on. But not alive. Lives. I know. I keep just. <laughs> you said. Listen, West Coast girls think Tupac lives on. I'm with you. I'm with you. So Tupac, keep going. Keep, keep doing that. <laughs> um, who would I say? I mean, there's so many. I mean, you know, it. I. There are some that I, I, I would not mention right now because they should stay in their lane, but um, others I. <laughs> I what that going. means? I want to know who one of those are. Keep moving. Okay, all Keep right. moving, Angela. All right, I didn't. That was not supposed to be a stumper either. What about? Uh huh. Uh, mm. So after all the TikTok dances and all the questions about rappers, living rappers like Tupac, uh, has that convinced the youth vote? Has that convinced uh, minorities or young black people or Hispanic people to vote for Kamala Harris? Newsmax went to one of the uh, most racially diverse areas of the country to ask them about Kamala Harris. The latest polls show that Vice President Kamala Harris is gaining ground with some black and Latino voters. But those very same voters say that things are going badly in an America run by President Biden and VP Harris. And former President Trump is still polling high with black voters at 20 percent in the latest, for example. They could be the story of this election. So are black and Hispanic voters persuaded by identity politics or actual policies? We hit the streets of the Bronx to find out. She's using her color. I thought that Martin Luther King said the color wasn't, wasn't the issue. I thought it was the content of our character that we were supposed to be recognized for. But she's going to keep running on that color 
she's going to have a misconception about how black people really wrong. If you bring somebody into office that looks like you, but then continues to detriment your community, what was that for? But if you choose somebody who can raise your community, then you chose the right one. Yes. So who do you choose? Personally, I choose Trump. I'm looking for who I think is more qualified to run the country. That's all That's all I'm looking at. Black Latinos are starting to be a little bit more critical. They're fed up of their uh, hard-earned money going to illegal, undocumented people. Kamala Harris did not do a good job on the border because, from what I know, a lot of people were coming from the other side and doing a lot of bad things to what we call home. I think she's not a good candidate for president because she's with Joe Biden for the past two years, a wreck up of New York, you know. Colors don't matter, man. Right, they don't. Ask God, man. That's true. So what do you think about a candidate that uses their race as a selling point? Do you think yeah, that's, that's some weird, weird You lost. You lost already, 2024. If you racist today, you lost. Nobody going against Trump. It's not about race. It's about what they provide for the society. Is what they could do for the community. With her putting a lot of black Americans in jail for the marijuana, they're not really going for her. We also got people's thoughts on Trump's recent comments on Harris's ethnicity. She was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black and now she wants to be known as black. Yeah, she was Hindu when it suited her purpose, you know, and now that she's running, the black vote suits her purpose. So like Trump said, you know, now she's black. Donald Trump is absolutely right. Her mother is Indian, her father is Irish Hindu, and she's always uh, presented herself as uh, as Indian. What do you think about uh, Trump saying Kamala Harris is black? I thought she was Indian. She was saying she was Indian. <laughs> That's my response. He's a, Trump is an open book, yo. Facts. That's just Trump being Trump. I don't I don't believe he, he's racist. I don't even think he has a racist bone in his body. And Trump said that uh, Kamala Harris always portrayed herself to be Indian and now all of a sudden she's saying she's black. Right? Nah, she's really Indian. She just want our support. She's trying to snatch our oh, support God. away from Trump. But that's not how that's going down. Yeah. Reporting for Newsmax in the Bronx, New York, I'm Kara Castronova. So yeah, I, I guess not going well. And that's really nice to see, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but yeah, keep doing your TikTok dances that the campaign pays you to do. Uh, ask any of these people, like, what? why do you support Kamala Harris? Can anybody give me an answer? Anyone? Nothing? Yeah, I'll take people from the Bronx and Harlem. Any day. <laughs> Something I never thought I'd say on this program. Whatever. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.